Good morning, class. Um, today we are working on lesson 11.2 out of your Go Math textbook on finding perimeter. If you have not already, please tear out pages 631 and 633 out of your math textbook. All right, so as you learned yesterday, perimeter is when you are um, adding up all the sides, finding the total length around an object, the perimeter of the object, okay? Just like the fence around the yard, okay? So, essential question, how can you measure perimeter? You can estimate and measure perimeter in standard units such as inches and centimeters. Okay, we are going to skip down here. Find the perimeter. Use an inch ruler to find the length of each side. All right, let me grab my handy dandy ruler. Hopefully you remember this ruler. So you're gonna measure each side and like we've been saying since day one of math, label, label, label. So remember, sorry, my ruler's hitting something, that you don't start measuring from the end of the ruler. You always start measuring at zero. So when I measure at zero, I can see that this side is two inches long. Now it's important to label it with inches because it's not centimeters, it's not meters, it's not feet, it's inches. So two inches long. Then we need to measure the side, start at zero on the ruler, okay? And this side is one inch long, okay? Now, I know with a rectangle that the side across from this is the same and the side across from this is the same. But for good measure, <laughs> see what I did there? I'm going to go ahead and measure all the sides. So I'm going to start on zero, go to here. So this one is also two inches. And start on zero, go to here, and this one's also one inch. So now I know the length of all four sides of my rectangle. I want to add the lengths of the sides together, okay? So I know I have one plus two, I'm just going around, plus one plus two, okay? So one and two is three, four, six. Okay, so the perimeter is six inches. That's it, kids. You just add up all the sides, okay? When it's a simple shape like this, it's very simple um, to find the answer. Now, let's look at the second one. It says, use a centimeter ruler to find the length of each side. This is why it's so crucial to read your directions carefully. If you didn't read this and you just started measuring inches on here, it's you'd be wrong, okay? Your answer would be wrong and very complicated because it's not exactly, it's more than one inch, see? All right, so I'm gonna go to the other side of my ruler where it says CM, do you see that? It's the abbreviation for centimeters. Centimeters are much smaller than inches, okay? And I'm going to do what I just did on the other side and I'm gonna measure. Remember, I start on the zero mark, not the end of the ruler. So this shows me that this is three centimeters long, okay? Then I'm gonna do the other side. From here to here is three centimeters. My ruler's too long, it's hitting everything. This is also three centimeters. All right, what do you call a figure that is four-sided and every side is the same length? A square, this is a perfect square. Um, if, if it's not all the same, then it's a rectangle. So all these sides are the same length, so this is a perfect square. So we're gonna add the length of all the sides. So three plus three plus three plus three. So I've got six plus six is 12. Or you could skip count by three. Three, six, nine, 12. So the perimeter is 12 centimeters. That's how long all the way around. All right, flip your page over. Okay, find the perimeter of the triangle in inches. Now, 
you're going to have to pay attention to the label so you know whether it's inches or centimeters. You're also going to have to very carefully measure with your ruler, okay? So what I actually want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to try to measure all these sides, okay? And get them labeled before you press play again. Okay, remember, pay attention if it's inches or centimeters. All right, if you're back, you're ready to check your work. So my perimeter of this triangle, I want to find it in inches. So I'm going to make sure on my inch side, I'm going to put zero here. And that shows me that's one inch. You don't have to label it because the book did it for you. It's so nice. Okay. So each side is one inch long, and I need to add them all up to find my perimeter. One, two, three. Three inches. That's it, kiddos. Okay, number two. Now, if you get one of these wrong, just pause the video and make your corrections. Okay. Oh. See how this didn't work? Look what I'm doing. What am I doing wrong? I'm talking to you guys on the video and I made a mistake. What's my mistake? Yes, I'm measuring with the inches side of the ruler when I should be measuring centimeters. And you'll know you're doing it wrong because look, it lands in a weird spot. Flip it over, measure correctly. So this side is four centimeters long which means the opposite is four. This side is three centimeters long, and so is this. We're gonna find perimeter, so I'm gonna add up all the sides, right? So I could do my doubles, three and three is six, four and four is eight, and I could say eight plus six is 14. Or I could say three plus four is seven, three plus four is seven, seven and seven is 14, Whatever's the easiest way for you to find it. Centimeters, we're gonna keep going. This one has lots of different sides. So here we go. Let me find my centimeter side. Let's do this itty bitty one. Whoops. It's one centimeter, it's tiny. This one is three. The long one is four. This one is three. You never would just want to look at these and guess. Always take the time to measure them. And that one's two. You should be measuring on your paper as well. Well, you actually should have already measured. Okay, so behind the perimeter, I'm going to add them all up, right? So let's just go in a circle. Two plus three is five. Plus four is nine plus three is 12, plus one is 13. So the perimeter is 13 centimeters. Now let's look at our directions. Use an inch ruler to find the perimeter. Okay, here we go. So I've got two inches. Two inches, two inches, and two inches. So that means two, four, six, eight, because you add them all up. Eight inches, that's it. Okay, let's do this trapezoid. I've got two inches. One inch, I bet this one's three, let's see. No, I am incorrect, it is two. And these are the same. They start and end at the same. So two, four, six, seven. That's it. There's your perimeter, seven inches. Okay, grab the next page. 
Use a ruler to find the perimeter. Go ahead and pause this video and try to do six and seven. Press play when you're finished. All right, if you're back, you're ready to check your work. Here we go. One and two is two inches. Ooh, straight down is two inches. This is a parallelogram. three inches and three inches. Okay, we wanna add up all the sides. So three and two is five, so that means five plus five is 10. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you got this one correct. First thing you gotta do is make sure you're measuring in centimeters. So the top one is three centimeters. This little guy is two centimeters. This little guy is one centimeter. I'm gonna turn my page so I can measure it more easily. The long side is five centimeters. And then your short side is two centimeters and three centimeters. Okay, we're gonna add all those up. So, I'm actually, when these are bigger, you can write them out, okay? So we have five, three, two, two, three, one. So all I did was list them down in this order. And I wanna do that because I want to show you something. I can make easy, friendly numbers. Look at that. And now I have five plus five plus five plus one. So five, 10, 15, 16. Okay, you can also go and add up all the way around the way we've been doing it, but I wanted to show you if you list them, you can group friendly numbers. Okay, use the grid paper to draw a figure that has a perimeter of 24 centimeters. Label the length of each side. All right, so you can be so creative with this. Let me get a thicker marker so you can see what I'm doing. Your figure can be oddly shaped, can be a perfect triangle, it doesn't matter. You want it to be 24 centimeters and it shows you that each of these little sides is one centimeter, okay? So I could sit here and think of, okay, well, what adds up to 24, right? Or I could just start drawing. As soon as I find a good color marker, how about brown? We'll just do brown. Okay. So I'm going to draw a figure that's 24 centimeters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a long way to go. I should have thought this through. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I may have messed this up, 18, 19, 20, oh, look at that. Do you see what I did wrong? 21, 22, 23, 24. I was too off because when I was making my shape, I didn't account for these two. So this is a fail on that one. So now let's try to actually plan it out and see if that works out more easily. So what numbers could we use that add up to 24? Well, I could say that I have A perfect square. So a perfect square would have four sides that are the same length. So what if I did one, two, three, let's start up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, because six times four is 24. So if I have a perfect square that has six CM on each side, does that equal 24? Six and six is 12. 12 and six is 18. Plus another six is 24. So this is 24 centimeters. Okay. Now there's other ways that you could do it. Um, let me grab another color. Okay. So I know that 10 and 10 is 20. And four more would be 24. So if I did two and two, that would be 24. So let me see if I have room to do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just barely. So I'm going to go all the way across. That's 10 down to across 10 down to. So I have 10 centimeters and two centimeters. This is 10, this is two. So I have 10, 20, 22, 24. This is also 24 centimeters. So what I want you to do is pause your video, get some different colors and try your best to create a figure that totals with a 24 centimeter perimeter. Don't make the mistake I did, but am I just trying to guess through it? You might want to just use a pencil first and then you can go over them. See how many figures you can fit inside this shape. Okay? All right. After you finish doing that, head over to Think Central and complete your 11.2 assignment.